Baby. <laughs> That's a lot to carry in. All of this is going in our little trailer. Say welcome to the video. Welcome to the video. Oh look, there's your dad. <laughs> hey. Sophie, Sophie. Come here, kitty, kitty. All right guys, today is care package day. We just picked up enough items for three care packages that I want to pass out on Sunday. I'm gonna show you guys what's included in them. Um, and if you want more information on these care packages, our Patreon is linked below, but let me show you. So we've got, I love these backpacks. They're at five below, they're $5 each. Just simple, but durable enough to where it can house these items. We used to use Ziploc bags, um, but we have upgraded to backpacks. Tons of waters because it is 105 degrees here in Texas now. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna divvy up all of these waters between these three backpacks. So plenty of water. Um, socks. Socks are apparently one of the most appreciated items for care packages we've found. So I always try to include socks. And these are uh, five pairs per care package, which is pretty cool because we started out with one pair. So now we've got five pairs per person. Tissues. Travel first aid kits, um, we've got some wipes, toothbrush kit, sunscreen, super important for Texas right now, uh, snacks, Lara bars, peanut butter crackers, Ritz crackers, and then an umbrella. So I thought with the umbrellas they could use that for shade, but it's also been raining recently, so an umbrella might be appreciated. But yeah, so those are the three care packages that we just got today. I'm going to put these together. Matt's going to make us some... Pizza. Well, this is not how you make pizza. This is for, for the band. It's not pizza. Is that going to decide where we go to? Yeah. <laughs> we're going to Mexico. Yeah, we're going to Mexico. <laughs> there they there. Ready to go. All right, tell us about this pizza you're making. Was that your transition right there? Yes, it was. <laughs> Pretty good. Can you hear me? We make pizzas pretty often. Oh, nice haircut, by the way. You guys might notice this fancy new dude. Oh, yeah. Okay. Anyways. So, besides that, um, <laughs> so I used to do frozen pizzas constantly. And so, Blair had the idea, why don't we actually do, like, one of my favorites, which is stuffed crust. I used to always do stuffed crust pizza. We actually have all the all the makings. Blair's going to make it. Blair's going to make the whole thing. It's just another one of those nights. Pizza and movies or whatever else we end up doing. We're going to use some of this... It's sliced cheese. Somehow we're gonna get it inside the crust. We'll figure it out. All right, so this is the crust because it, it takes too long to make your own crust. So we're just using this one and we've used it before and it's quite delicious. And then you guys saw the cheese. You already threw away the label, so it's chow cheese. And then we've got some uh, tofurkey little deli slices. I've got some sliced onion and bell peppers. Of course, the sauce, uh, crushed red pepper. And then I've got some greens in the fridge that we're gonna add to it as well. So I've got some carrots and bread that I was gonna throw out to the deer. I'm gonna see if I can get them to come out here for you guys. They're so spoiled. Usually when they hear anybody out here, they know we're throwing food out to them. So let's see if they come up. Okay, well they didn't come to me, but I threw everything around the trailer, so I'm betting in about 10 minutes we're gonna see them all crowding us and eating the food. And so however I threw that away, the dough, fell over and busted open. I just really related to that. <laughs> yeah. You relate to this? Yeah, just a big old thing of dough. It's just a little squishy white thing. <laughs> <laughs> Right now we add a little bit of seasoning to the crust. So we got some pizza seasoning and then uh, the herbs de Provence. And I'm gonna sprinkle it on here and then we're gonna bake it in the oven for just a few seconds, minutes, a few seconds of your time. And then we're gonna top it off and then bake it again. Watch how excited they get to come back in. Hi, baby. 
Okay. Oh, check this out. Buzz, Buzz, you want your toy? Do you want your toy? Buzz, no. Oh, he knows. Buzz has a special toy. Why is it Buzz's toy? He's looking at it. Why is it Buzz's toy? Because you rip everything to shreds. Everything. Within a minute. So this is yours. That's yours. This is Buzz's toy. Diggle Buzz, get it. Get it, Buzz. Get it. Brady, this toy costs as much as five of Buzz's toys. But he doesn't want it because Buzz has anything. I'm happy right now. Look at his tail. This is Buzz's first toy since we got Brady. Because Brady steals and destroys all other toys. The crust is semi-baked, so that means that we add our toppings. <laughs> that is a thick crust. Add our toppings, and then we're gonna throw it back in for another 10 minutes or so. It came out pretty good. Uh, you can see Matt is just cheese and meat, and mine is veggies and meat. Without cheese. So we've got the little stuffed crust right here. Oh yeah. Let it cool, because then it'll actually thicken up some. That'll do. Mm -mm. That'll do. So Matt and I were going to film something back at the trailer here uh, early afternoon, but then this happened. It has been pouring since I since I pretty much left the gym, so about 45 minutes now. I made the awful drive here. Now I've got to get myself and everything into the trailer, get the boys out, which will be a mess in its own. I just, I don't know what it is, you guys. I, I don't joke whenever I say that we don't have normal rains here. Uh, there's already flooding downtown. I drove through areas that I probably should not have driven through uh, because of the water, but it's hard. It's so hard to see out the window. You can't tell how deep the water is. It's not. It's just coming through the street. It's not like rushing a rushing river yet. It's crazy. Crazy. Okay, so I'm going to try to compose myself and get everything inside and get the dogs out. This is today's video. such a thing as a no hands umbrella because that would be real nice. Oh, oh that's that's great. And then we've got this. And these are the towels that we wiped them off with. Okay, so Brady went out and went to the bathroom immediately because he doesn't like to be in the rain. Buzz walked out and it was raining so hard that he could barely open his eyes, but he just ran around in a panic. Like he didn't know what was going on. So I yelled at him to go potty and he ran like across the yard behind the fence, behind the garden, and then just stared at me like, what am I supposed to do? And then he ran back, and then Wally Pete, he was looking over me like this, like squinty eyes. Oh my gosh, it's a mess. Update. Got this guy. Got him. And I thought that uh, we could finish out today's video by showing y'all his... I call it a contraption, but it's, it's not. It's not a contraption. It's not a contraption. Um, his new addition to his side of the RV. His, oh, we have sides. His nook, you know, of the RV. I guess we have sides now. You wanna you wanna explain to him what's going on here? So, and this kind of came about because I started watching Casey Neistat. He has something like this in his little uh, studio or his office. I think he did a video on it or some. He did something. Either way, I saw just what he did. He just made a charging station, and so I was like, why don't we do that? Because not only that, it'll also force me to start using some of these things a bit more because everything's going to be charged. It's going to be sitting right here next to me and I can just grab it and go. Which is kind of what we were doing in Colorado too as well. But look, look who's back in the collection. Look, that's in the rotation now. I don't know if y'all remember this guy right here, but oh, this little guy was 
in Brady's mouth and uh, bitten repeatedly. Chewed is what some people might use, like that term. Uh, either way, uh, it's actually working again. The LED screen is just, yeah, it's just gone. But we found out it does retain battery power, which is uh, the issue with our last one. You can see is you know, in memory right here. So this one's uh, basically broken. Let's see, this camera is broken. This is our uh, A F this is our 5100. This is our A5000. Basically what they're doing is charging batteries for our A6000. And I even have, which I don't, I only put it on whenever I need to. I like to take pictures more so. So yeah, we actually uh, have two cameras now. The one that she's filming on right now. And this guy right here for uh, pictures that are further away. So it's actually a, a really decent camera, uh, but we broke two of the lenses. But either way, uh, now they charge batteries for the camera that we're on right now. We even have an iPad right on the wall. It does come off the wall too as well. It's just uh, I use the 3M Velcro tape stuff, and so it just comes off real easy. But yeah, I just got a ton of brackets, put it into the wall, made it look kind of neat. At least it's neat to me, which all, is all that matters. I have uh, the drone cord that is actually comes down from over there goes down there comes up here gopro cord basically hardwired this guy into here and there's the uh the random one which right now is a fan for whenever i go to go to bed keeps me cool at night an extra charger for the tough camera that's the uh, station and i even uh, can charge a power pack so why this why not just have things plugged into the wall and charging i, I hate clutter so this keeps all the cords red very readily available on the wall it allows me to just, I mean, look really cool, you know? I don't look cool very often. I don't know, I think it looks good. Look at it, look at that guy. I think, I think you did good. Yeah, this is a masterpiece. No, no, I think it's good. Well, and also the issue was that there's a plug down here. It's kind of dark. And little USB, this is the charging center that came stuck with the RV. But all of the cords would hang down here and just collect dust, and it was kind of a mess. It was kind of hard to see where everything was, so he just ran this, what is that called? Power? <laughs> Power strip. Power strip. Up here. And now everything is up here versus down there and all jumbled and hard to get to. I'm very hairy. We, we have dogs, you know. It's going to get fuzzy around. <laughs> we're gonna start putting like our shooting schedule and so we're always in the know because uh, right now we're kind of sporadic with everything we do and like I said I want to get very specific about when we film or just have some kind of schedule. Yeah I think the scheduling thing is gonna be really good um, because it's as far as like YouTube goes we don't have a set schedule but we have a schedule of when we upload videos so if we don't stick to a schedule, things are kind of hard to, to keep track of. At least for me, they are for editing. So we're going to start setting like scheduled times to film. Also, I'm playing shows now with uh, my band. And so that's just another thing that's just on the schedule. And so just to keep everything clean and mostly just so I know whenever I'm scheduling something out with Casey, uh, who's the guitarist, I need to know everything that we plan together. Because so, a lot of times we'll plan something and we're like, yeah, let's do this. And then we forget that, oh yeah, we planned it on Wednesday. So this actually took probably about an hour and a half or so to actually put into the wall. It's really the story is it actually took me three days because I bought everything in portions. Like, oh, I need more brackets. And I had to go back to this, this store that was in, I did this while I was in Buena Vista. It should only take an hour and a half, but it took three days. So that's gonna be it for today's video. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let us know what you think of Matt's crazy contraption below. And you guys can follow us on Instagram and we're on Facebook and all of that information is in our description box below, including uh, more information on our Patreon. And I'm staring at the dog because he's about to break down this wall antsy. here. Oh. And Brady, Stay. just let us film for two seconds. <laughs> So yeah, hopefully y'all enjoyed. If you do enjoy these random daily vlogs, uh, make sure and hit that thumbs up. And subscribe if you're new. And, and uh, yeah. something else. Have fun out there. Bye, guys. <laughs>